inform, promote, unite. This is J City Arrow News, your source for local news and information straight to the point. This is a production of J City Center for Hope and Renewal, rebuilding bridges to better lives, better families, and a better community. Johnston City is our heritage and our home, and a renewed community is our hope for the future. Hello, Johnston City. Thank you for joining us on this premiere episode of J City Arrow News. We're streaming from our studio at J City Center for Hope and Renewal. My name is Keith Fletcher, and I'm the director of the center, and today I will be your anchor for this local news podcast. Our plan is to release a new episode at the beginning of the month. As our viewership, news, volume, and volunteer support grow, we may be able to stream this program more frequently. Each episode will be followed by a printed companion publication, and you can find those around town in local stores and restaurants uh, beginning next week. And now for the current news. Just a few minutes ago, the J.C. Lions Club completed its first fish fry of the year raising funds to go towards scholarships for graduating seniors at JCHS. At its next meeting, club members will be reviewing 17 applications and selecting at least two recipients who will each receive a $1,000 scholarship. According to current president, Phil Crosby, the club is small, 15 to 16 members, but is very active. The Lions Club provides eyeglasses for needy children and adults and supports various other charities in addition to its scholarships. Regular meetings take place on the first and third Tuesday of each month at 6.30 p.m. at J City Church, 609 Monroe, here in Johnston City. Those who are interested in becoming a part of the club are always welcome at the meetings, or they can see our website or print in an addition for more information on how to contact uh, its membership. In a moment, one of our volunteer re community news reporters, Mr. Doug Hancock, will share other events happening soon right here in Johnston City, including a free meal later this evening. A community Palm Sunday service tomorrow night, the upcoming election, city government meetings, and more happening in April. But first, here's Sarah Fletcher, the lead counselor here at J City Center, to explain the unique program we offer called Invested Counseling. I'm Sarah Fletcher, a counselor here at J City Center, and I wanted to share about a unique type of counseling that we offer here. It allows people to exchange community service hours or church ministry hours in it for counseling. And the counseling is done by either a clinical professional or a pastoral counselor. We offer both here at the center. And uh, we offer several different types of counseling, uh, relationships, mental health counseling, uh, grief, conflict resolution, uh, just about any kind of counseling that you would get at any other Christian counseling agency. Primarily, invested counseling is for those who are underinsured, or who have no insurance, people who would normally fall through the cracks in the system. However, for those who do have insurance or who are able to self-pay, we also offer counseling here at the center through our partner agency, Caring Counseling Ministries. We offer telehealth as well as in-person sessions and we hope that you would just uh, check us out. If you're interested, give the center a call.
every Saturday night at J City Church uh, between the time of 5.30 and 6. Um, anyone is welcome to come and pick up a meal just by driving through and letting our um, servers know how many meals you wish. Uh, they come out piping hot and fresh and, are, and um, some of our people even take them to shut-ins in town, which kind of extends the ministry of J City Church. Um, this week, we're going to be having a traditional Easter meal with ham and um, all the fixings. So be sure to take that. By the way, the Saturday before Easter Sunday, we're going to take a break so we can prepare ourselves for Easter. This Sunday night, there will be a Community Palm Sunday service. It'll be held at the Heritage Fellowship on 12th Street. Um, Reverend Adam King from the Christian Church is going to be the guest speaker. And all this begins at six o'clock. Hope to see you there. Um, the election is coming up Tuesday, April 4th, and uh, our town will be electing uh, school board members and also um, city aldermen. So please come out and vote for that. Also on that day, at nine o'clock in the morning at Andreessen's Cafe, the business leaders are going to be meeting uh, to discuss plans to make Johnson City a better place to live. The city council meets the second and fourth Tuesday at 5 p.m. at the Scout Cabin. And again, the public is invited and welcome to come. The planning this commission meets the third Monday at J City Church at four o'clock. And again, that is open to the public. This coming month, April, uh, the fifth Sunday, April 30th, we are gonna have an outdoor sing at our brand new pavilion uptown. It'll be at six o'clock and uh, there will be hot dogs served. And I'm sure there'll be all the fixings too because I know how these church ladies are. And the meal starts at 5.30. J-City Aero News is committed to providing information about what's happening in J-City just for kids. I interviewed Marta Phillips, Children's Director at J-City Church and President of the Ministerial Alliance. I talked with her about an after-school Bible club that has really taken off this year. We have Good News Club that uh, is an after-school program that we started this year at Jefferson School and because of their flooding issues, we had to move it to J City Church. We meet at the church at um, three o'clock and we have Good News Club till 445. The church bus will come and pick up the children that are registered at Jefferson School and the children that come from Lincoln School to Jefferson School, we we make two bus routes and we will come back and pick up the children from Lincoln School, bring them to the church so that they can attend Good News Club. Very good. And now, uh, Good News Club is an after school program. It's open to anyone. It's not any particular church, even though we're having it at our church. Right. We have people involved from all different kind of churches, but it's just teaching kids the Bible. It it's is. It's a Bible club, right? It is. It's a Bible club. So what ages of kids are eligible to come to this? Kindergarten through fifth grade. Kindergarten through fifth grade. And transportation mm -hmm. after school is provided for them. That's right. Now, what happens when the club is over? What do they do then? Mom and dad come and pick Mom them up? Mom and dad, yes. Mom and dad pick them up. The bus right. only runs at the beginning right. to pick them up from the school and bring them to the and church. And it's just like it was at the school, at the end of the club, mom and dad pick up the kids. Correct. And they're checked in and checked out. Everything is very secure. Yes. Um, and my understanding is everyone that works in Good News Club as a volunteer has already been screened and checked to make sure yes. that they're good people. Yes, we we take lots of training mm -hmm. and we are screened and... Right. Now, if a student wants to come to the last, I understand there are three sessions left. Three left. Mm -hmm. So when are they happening? This coming Monday, the 3rd? The 3rd. And then school is out on the 10th mm -hmm. for Easter. And then the 17th and the 24th. And that will be the final the session. The final one's the 24th. On the 24th. That's right. Um, but if kids still want to come, they, there is some paperwork they need to fill out. Yes. They, 
Yes, the, the parents, parents need to fill out. Absolutely. The parents have to fill it out okay. because we have to have permission for them to attend the club, first of all. Mm -hmm. Then we have to have permission for them to ride the bus. Ride the bus, right. Right. So uh, just call the church and leave a message, uh, and Marta will get that message, and she will get back with you and arrange to get the paperwork filled out. Before we talk to Marta again about a long-term summer meals program here in town, I wanted to mention that the Easter Bunny will make an appearance at Andreessen's next Saturday morning. Legion's Bank is sponsoring breakfast with the Bunny from 8 to 10 a.m. Kids can eat a free breakfast, make some Easter crafts, and of course take a picture with the Bunny. And you'll be done in time to take the kiddos to the city's annual Easter egg hunt at Arrowhead Park beginning at 1 o'clock next Saturday afternoon. Legion's Bank is also sponsoring a free workshop here at J City Center that begins Tuesday, April the 4th. It's the first series of a new community education program here at the center called Got Skills? I interviewed Laura and Debbie at the J City branch this week, and here's what they had to say about these workshops. Hi, I'm here with Laura and Debbie, and they're going to uh, answer a few questions about our Got Skills uh, workshop that's starting uh, Tuesday, uh, next Tuesday actually, April the 4th. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, yeah and so uh, the name of this class uh, or workshop is called Smart Money Bank on It. And that's kind of why we're here in the bank, at Legion's Bank. So, so Laura, tell us a little bit about how this is going to work, uh, who's going to be teaching and so forth? Okay, I'll be teaching a class, Debbie's going to be teaching also, and we're going to have some visitors on a couple other ones okay. that's going to teach uh, fraud and then credit uh, on the loan side. So what do you think uh, someone, is this a class for somebody who's, you know, really experienced in handling their money, or is this for somebody who's just got getting a start, or maybe, maybe needs a little more meal? This is going to be for somebody who's just getting started mm -hmm. and refresh your course on okay. how to enter the, the new banking. Enter right, the because things have changed a lot in banking, haven't they? Yes, they have. And uh, there's a whole lot more options out there, mm -hmm. and so sometimes it's really kind of confusing, isn't it? Yes. Um, I was uh, wondering if, if this is going to help people like keep from making some mistakes, like maybe falling for scams and things like that. We hope. We have some, you know, a lot of good literature and uh -huh. training on the scam and okay. on the fraud, so we're hoping this will help them. And the classes start at 6.30, and they're going to go for about an hour, correct? Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to be, I mean, you're going to have some hands-on things. It's not, you're not just going to sit there and lecture to them. I mean, they're going to practice writing checks and things yes, like that. Yes, we are. And... We're going to practice writing checks. We have a big check that we're going to okay. let them practice on, and yes, we're going to have... Big checks means... Big money, right? Yeah, there you go, yes. <laughs> and everybody wants that, right? Yes, uh-huh. Well, this is not designed to help you make money, I'm sure. It's designed to help you keep and manage the money you've got and yes. maybe make it stretch a little further, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah. We're hoping that, you know. So you don't recommend we bury the money no. in a coffee can? No, we don't recommend <laughs> okay. that. No, we've got some accounts for everybody, so they're oh, not good. burying their Very money. Good. Yes. But I just wanted the folks to know, now you're not, I mean, you're from Legion's Bank, and yes. you're going to have some materials there from Legion's Bank, but this yeah. is for anybody. It doesn't matter where they bank, correct? Correct. Yes, correct. Okay, so mm -hmm. we want to let everybody know, or even if they don't have a bank, if they don't have right. never opened a bank account, you might give them some ideas on how they can we do will, that. We'll tell them what they need to okay. when they want to open an account. And it's not just with us. It's sure. everybody requires sure. pretty so much this the is, same. So this is about anybody. Mm -hmm. And this would be ideal for somebody who's maybe got their first job. Uh, maybe as a teenager, or maybe somebody, in, a young adult, maybe a college student, or even somebody who's maybe newly married. I can think of all kinds of people that would benefit from this class. Mm -hmm. yes. So you're going to make it relevant to just about anybody in those kind of situations. Yes. yes. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Laura and Debbie. We're looking forward to seeing you next week. Now, this class goes for four weeks, starts next Tuesday on the 4th, and then every Tuesday after that at 630 you can go on the, our website at jcity.center. Jay That's all you need, jcity.center, and there's a link there. You can, you can fill out a uh, registration for the class. 
But if you don't get a chance to do that, just show up uh, because we'll have extra materials and uh, there's room for everyone. Yes, absolutely. Yes. All right, thank you all. all right. Yes, Lunch Munch is coming up earlier this year than normal. Okay. Starts May 22nd this year. So Lunch Munch is, is the summer meals program here in Johnston City, and it's open to any child uh, ages 1 to 18. Um, now, we've been doing this for a while, haven't we, here yeah, in Johnston well, yeah, City? Yeah, for a little while. If, I, if I've counted correctly, this is the 13th, 13th. summer that it we've is. had lunch bunch jc kids lunch bunch and lots of kids have come and lots of kids have eaten a good meal lots of kids have have heard good stories and met good people and had a lot of fun haven't yes. they? so tell us a little bit about uh where lunch bunch is going to be this year and when is it going to start exactly okay it will start monday may the 22nd we will be at the park behind Washington School, which is Mike Dean Park. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be there. Really nice playground there. Really nice playground there. Um, we will be there from serving meals from 1130 to 1230, mm -hmm. Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday, and it starts May the 22nd, correct? Right. May the 22nd, which is the, the Monday before Memorial Day. Yes. So we Lunch Bunch will be five days uh, before Memorial Day, then we'll, they'll take off for Memorial Day, I assume, right? Yes. And then the rest of Memorial Day week, and then we'll go right on through the end of July, is that correct? That's right, last day will be July the 28th. And you might, you probably won't do anything on the 4th of July or, or that day that's close to the 4th of July. I mean, it won't be, we'll give the workers a chance to go rest a little bit. Right. Right, but, my understanding is that uh, Lunch Bunch uh, is for everybody in town. Uh, That's right. And uh, I know from previous experiences with Lunch Bunch that anybody that comes can have a meal, right? Even mom and dad. Absolutely. Right. We, we feed everybody. Oh, and what happens if we have some bad weather, though? You're meeting outside. What are we going to do then? We haven't been able to go into the community center, the scout right, cabin. Right, so the scout cabin is available to Lunch Bunch most days, uh, unless there's something else going on there. In, in case of bad weather, in case there's a storm or rain, or it is, if it's like 105 degrees, right. something like that, where we couldn't be outside. But uh, the meals are delicious. Uh, I and nutritious. And nutritious, that's right. Um, I understand uh, there's some special days that they have, like certain things. Mm -hmm. We are once again having the ever popular, with the adults as well as the kids, Pizza Monday. Pizza Monday. Pizza Monday. Everybody loves Pizza Monday. That's right. I think and so. this year, oh, and we have always had Brown Bag Friday. Right. And there's a reason for that that we'll talk about in a little bit. But this year we're adding Taco Tuesday. Oh, cool. But it's not necessarily be tacos. It's actually going to be Mexican Tuesday, but that just doesn't have the same, no, <laughs> the same ring to no, it. it so we're calling it Taco Tuesday. But actually, one, okay. of, one of the children's favorite things, lunch bunch meal, is the super nachos. Oh, yeah. So That's a we, big hit. Yes. So we're That's having a big hit. Taco Tuesday. Now you mentioned something about Friday. Friday's kind of a special day anyway, isn't it? Right. On Fridays, we, uh, we give out a weekend food bag. Okay. So they'll get a, a, a lunch in a, in a brown bag. In a brown bag. They'll get another bag, probably not brown, but it will it will have food for the weekend. That's right. right. And it'll be food that kids can maybe even fix themselves. Right. That's that's what we aim for. So right. So stuff, can... stuff kids like and stuff yes. that kids can even warm up themselves if they need to. So um, anyway, Lunch Bunch is a great program. Uh, I would let you know there is a workers' meeting on April the 20th. Uh, it will be at J City Church. Do you know what, remember what time that starts? 
6.30. 6.30, okay. 6.30 on April the 20th. If you're interested in volunteering for Lunch Bunch, yes. uh, we actually need some help in other ways other than preparing the food. One of the things that Lunch Bunch needs is, is people to just get the word out. Absolutely. And so so yes. we need we need people to pass out flyers or door knockers or whatever we can do. Now we'll inform the kids through their backpacks. So, so be watching parents for a note in the backpacks right. coming up in the next few weeks. But uh, uh, Lunch Bunch has opportunities for a lot of people to help. And my understanding is that, you know, sometimes you go to a restaurant, they have music playing, but at Lunch Bunch, we have something else. We have story time. Have stories going we on. Do. We have live storytellers. Live storytellers. Story I mean, no. not on the screen. No. no. Real live storytellers. Real, yes. Every day we have a different volunteer come and tell a Bible story. So maybe there'd be room for some volunteer Bible storytellers too. Absolutely. We would love. Right. We would love to have some volunteer Bible storytellers. Right. So. Uh, it gives the kids a chance to get away from the screens, Yes. get out of the house, get out, play on a nice playground for a little while. There's lots of room there at the park to run around. Uh, and it's like you said, right behind Washington School. So even if kids have to go to summer school, my understanding is that they'll be out of summer school in time to come over and get a meal. Right. So that's a win-win, isn't it? It is. So, uh, remember, Lunch Bunch starting May the 22nd, and it then goes through the end of July, through the last Friday of July, which I think is the 28th. Mm -hmm. All right. Part of our mission as a community development organization is to create jobs and to help people find those jobs here in our local community. Here are a few openings that uh, we found uh, online and through social media of jobs that are now available here in Johnston City. Andreessen's Cafe is looking for a part-time waitress. Uh, it consists of days and Sundays and opportunities uh, to work more hours at parties or other events. Applications are at the cafe, so apply within. Also, Timo's Pizza is needing cooks and delivery drivers. Uh, they open at 4 p.m. each day, so uh, you can also apply there uh, at their restaurant. The Johnston City Community Unit School District is accepting applications for the following positions. K-12 music teacher, high school cheerleading sponsor, middle school assistant boys basketball coach, and substitute custodians. Also connected with the school, Chartwells is now hiring kitchen help. You can find information about these jobs at jcity.center, that's our website, uh, and also we will have more information in our print edition coming out next week. Illinois Central School Bus is looking for school bus monitors and drivers. And in other businesses looking for employees, uh, McDonald's is hiring crew team, team members. The ZX here in Johnston City is looking for sales associates. And then there are opportunities as independent contractors, uh, being shopper and delivery drivers for Instacart. And again, you can find information about these jobs on our website jcity.center or in the print edition. If you're not looking for a job but you're in the position that you can volunteer your services here at J City Center, we have several openings, particularly for uh, part-time receptionists. Of course, that requires HIPAA training. We're also looking for people who can be instructors for our Got Skills programs. If you have a particular skill that you think could be shared with others, please let us know contact us and we will discuss with you the possibilities of setting up classes here in the community for our neighbors. Also, we're still in the process of renovating and remodeling some of our downstairs area here at the center. So we need people who are, have some skills in carpentry. We need some people who have some skills in flooring as well as uh, painters and those who could do some yard work. 
We also have the need for people to volunteer to bring meals or to serve meals. We do a walk-in lunch as needed program here. We typically have meals available, sometimes hot, sometimes refrigerated, sometimes frozen but we provide people who walk in or who are part of our sister program, Take Action Today, uh, we provide a lunch meal for them between 11.30 and 12.30. So all of these areas uh, we could really use some help with. Remember, J City Center for Hope and Renewal is a totally volunteer-based organization. We are, as of yet, funded only by contributions from local citizens and businesses. We do not receive any government funds. So J City Center for Hope and Renewal is worth your time and investment because we are truly seeking to rebuild bridges to better lives, to better communities. In our next episode of J City Arrow News, we will be sharing information about our new bakery in town, as well as the relaunching of a local chapter of the Rotary Club, the citywide cleanup, and J City Library's annual community yard sale, and of course, more about Lunch Bunch. Look for the print edition of J City Arrow News in local restaurants and stores beginning next week. Have a great month, and we hope to see you around the 1st of May.